Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the orientation on the counseling and referral system for learners for school year 2021-2022. As we are aware, the Department of Education, DepEd, issues the DMOUCI 2021-359, which is the counseling and referral system for learners for school year 2021-2022, which aims to give DepEd schools the mechanisms to address the needs of learners on mental health services, including counseling activities with mental health professionals. The flow of our discussion will focus on the rationale, the reason, or the logical basis for a course of action, the scope that refers to what extent of the area or subject matter that something deals with or to which it is relevant, the definition of terms, which is the operational description used, and policy statement of the counseling and referral system for learners for this current school year. Now for the rationale, in the first back states, one of its reason is the implementing rules and regulations of Republic Act number 11036, otherwise known as the mental health law. Section 25 stipulates that educational institutions such as schools, colleges, universities, and technical schools shall develop policies and programs for students, educators, and other employees designed to raise awareness on mental health issues, identify and provide support services for individuals at risk, and facilitate access including referral mechanisms of an individual with mental health conditions to treatment and psychosocial support. The Department of Education, for step ed Commission on Higher Education, CHET, and Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, or TESTA, in coordination with other relevant government agencies and stakeholders shall provide guidance in the development and implementation of mental health policy and programs to educational institutions to promote mental health, provide basic support services for individual at risk or already have a mental health conditions. And establish efficient linkages with other agencies and organizations that provide or make arrangements to provide support, treatment, and continuing care. The second reason, which is stated in the second box, while awaiting the release of the comprehensive guidance and counseling program policy, which is the overall umbrella of all mental health programs and activities in schools, the DepEd tries to address the pressing issues concerning the mental health of learners, most especially during this crisis situation, by issuing guidelines on the conduct of counseling and referral mechanisms in schools. Finally, as we can see in the third box, this memorandum aims to establish guidelines and procedures that will guide DEP at schools in addressing learners who need counseling and should be referred to other mental health and professionals or services. Okay, next. The counseling and referral system of learners shall be applicable for all public elementary and secondary schools 
for school year 2021-2022. Okay, now for the definition of terms. Counseling is a well-planned, goal-oriented, and short-term intervention that aims to help learners manage and overcome issues or concerns that hinder them to attain success. Its process aids learners to define the problems, its sources, options, and pros and cons, which facilitate them to decide and act appropriately. Then, we have the term referral. The referral is one of the guidance services where learners are facilitated to avail other assistance or services that address their mental health or other concerns. This requires a wide range of internal partners such as counselors, teachers, nurses, and school administrators. Also have external partners like government, non-government agencies, organizations, and individuals in different professions, fields, and interests. Next is the case notes. The case notes pertain to the documentation of the entire counseling service availed by the learner. It includes an accurate account of what went on in a session. This is also known as a progress note, and it aims to make a record of the counseling or clinical management of the entire case. By creating an accurate and complete documentation of counseling service, the guidance counselor ensures that the counseling sessions are beneficial to the counselees or learners, conforms to their ethical obligations to provide the needed service and ensures a legally defensible record of counseling practice. Next. Okay, next. Now, mental health condition. Mental health condition is read, defined in RA 11036 as a neurologic or psychiatric condition characterized by the existence of a recognizable clinically significant disturbance in an individual's cognition, emotional regulation, or behavior, behavior that reflects a generic or acquired dysfunction in the neurobiological, psychosocial, or developmental processes underlying mental functioning. The determination of neurologic and psychiatric conditions shall be based on the scientifically accepted medical nomenclature and best available scientific and medical evidence. Then, then we have the term mental health first aid. Okay, mental health First aid as defined in www.mentalhealthfirstaid.org.com pertains to the immediate help provided to a person with developing or currently facing a mental health problem or crisis. It is given until the necessary specialized mental health service is provided and should not replace counseling, medical care, or peer support or treatment. And follow-up refers to a guidance service which checks 
the current functioning of those who underwent counseling and other mental health services. And for the policy statement, DepEd issues this document to ensure proper implementation of counseling and referral of learners for school year 2021-2022. This policy aims to ensure the systematic procedure of counseling and referral of learners in public schools guide all public schools and all governance levels in the implementation of counseling and referral of learners and support mechanism that contribute to the attainment of the department's mental health program. Okay, so that's my task for today. But before I end, my presentation, let me share this to you. Life doesn't make any sense without interdependence. We need each other, and the sooner we learn, that the better for us all by Eric Erickson. So please stay safe, healthy, and happy, and have a meaningful day. Thank you.